Hey everybody, it's Garrett here again with FixMySauna.com and in today's video I'm not only going to explain the difference between a ceramic heater and a carbon heater, but I'm also going to explain the difference in quality that you can find either as a replacement part or if you're shopping for a new infrared sauna online. So the first thing that I want to start out with is ceramic heaters. Uh, on the market today as far as replacement parts is concerned, there's about three different types of heaters out there. There's a pair of white ones, or there's white, white ceramic heaters. There's what we have, which is original manufacturer heaters, and they're more of the darker uh, gray series. And then you have black heaters. So the first one, the white heaters, the all white ceramic heaters, those are your typical Chinese made, uh, very low quality, maybe 200 to 300 hours is all you're gonna get out of those. Um, then you have the black heaters, and what's really sad in this replacement parts industry is the black heaters are nothing but uh, your white heaters painted black, and then, and then you're charged three times as much for those heaters. The heaters that you want to buy and that you want to use in your infrared sauna are going to be the original manufacturer, which are going to be these darker gray or steel color uh, infrared uh, sauna uh, uh, ceramic heaters. The reason is, is these particular ones, while they're more, they cost more to get uh, or more to produce, they're much uh, longer lasting. The longevity on these are anywhere between two and 3,000 hours. Um, and that's, it, it, it is exactly why FixMySauna.com only sells that dark gray color. All right, so the next uh, thing that we wanna look at is the carbon heaters. So there's, a, there's about three or four different types of carbon heaters out on the market today. But here are the two most common. Now, this particular one over here, which I'm gonna kinda, kinda look at, you can see this is a very, very cheaply made carbon heater. See how thin it is? Um, it's, it's very, very fragile, thin. Uh, it's just a, a very low quality infrared heater. Then you have stuff like what we carry, and this is the carbon fiber, uh, mat, which you can tell here how thick it is, how actual, how good the material is. If you ha if you had your fingers on it, you could see uh, it's a very very good material. It's very strong. It's, I can you can move it here. This is the really really good heater. Now, let me give you guys some advice. A lot of these sellers here in the United States on carbon have they their marketing gurus throw all these different names on it: carbon nano, carbon wave, carbon 360 all of these different marketing uh, names and, and angles that they use, uh, honestly, it's really all BS. But I'll get into that in a few minutes. Uh, what I really wanna show you guys is, is there's, there is a difference between quality and getting cheap Chinese made uh, stuff. And a lot of these companies that are selling parts online, all they're doing is getting the very cheap bottom of the barrel replacement parts for you and then they're charging you three to four times what they should and, and in our opinion that's just uh, ridiculous these these ceramic heaters these replacement OEM heaters they're they're generally about 30 to 40 percent less than what's out on the market being sold and marketed as as high quality and these are going to outperform those other heaters those white ones and black ones by maybe you know up to 2,000 hours same thing with the carbon a lot of the carbon that the aftermarket carbon that's bought is it may not have this texture or this kind of front on it. it may all be black but it's going to be very thin it's going to have the electronics on the back is going to be the the it's just going to be very very cheaply made very chinese made as you can see if i turn this carbon around this is a very very high quality uh, see how you have the insulation tape the nice insulation on the connectors here uh, the nice and thick wire uh, and then the, the back uh, the back plate on it as well so that's you you could see that there's a very very big difference in quality again even if it's a black heater that you see on the market it doesn't mean that it's the higher quality black that we have uh, here at fixmysauna.com so I hope that helps on, on you guys kind of figure that out. Um, the only other thing too that I want to mention, if you see a whole bunch of graphs out online or you see a whole bunch of uh, analysis, uh, do not pay attention to those. A lot of it is just marketing. An infrared carbon heater, the way that it produces infrared is really based on the quality of the heater. 
and it's based on the thickness of the heater. So again, always buy or look for quality parts in your infrared sauna. You certainly don't want one that's cheaply made or has cheap uh, heaters in it. So that's kind of the, the, the difference in the, in the quality. Let's talk about the biggest question that we probably get as far as selling saunas is what is the difference between your ceramic heaters, which are right here, and then your carbon heaters, which are right there. So uh, ceramic heaters were uh, initially what came in all infrared saunas. And uh, when they when infrared saunas first hit the US market, all you could buy was a ceramic heater or a ceramic sauna. And the, the ceramics, the advantages of ceramics is they are, they are a much deeper penetrating heater, meaning if you're a bodybuilder or maybe you have a, extra, a little extra weight on you, it's going to penetrate much deeper into that fats and your fat cells or your muscles and, and get that more deep uh, penetrating therapy, whereas carbon is not. And I'll go into that in a second. Uh, so that's the, the main advantage of ceramic. The, the disadvantage of ceramic is it's a smaller heater. So if you're, if you're looking at maybe a three to five person, this diagnostic sauna is a one person. So, but if you're looking for a three to five a corner unit, it's very hard to cover all the square footage in that, heat, in that sauna with ceramic heaters. So they don't cover as much square footage, so it's harder uh, to, if you're looking at a, a bigger sauna, it's much harder to, to find one that's adequately equipped with the right amount of heaters. The only other drawback to ceramic is a lot of people have complained about hot spots. Now, a lot of those hot spots come from the cheap white heaters or even the cheap black heaters, or they come from having too much wattage. See how uh, this heater here, this is the most common we sell, and that's 250 watts. A lot of the, uh, some, or some of the saunas that are out there, the more cheaper ones, they didn't really think about it and they put 300 watt or 350 watt ceramics. And yes, that can cause hot spots because that's just a, a massive amount of heat coming through um, that heater, that particular heater. So just to recap, the advantages of, of ceramic is it's gonna penetrate deeper into the human body, into those fat cells, into those muscle, into those muscles. So if you're a bodybuilder, a little bit extra weight, or you know, you just, you want that deeper uh, penetration, a ceramic is definitely going to be the, the heater that you're going to want to choose. Now, carbon on the other, or I'm sorry, the disadvantage of ceramic is going to be that it, it can cause hot spots if you have it configured incorrectly or too hot of a heater, or you bought, uh, or you have a Chinese uh, 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 ceramic heater in the sauna now. Um, the other disadvantage is if, you, if you're going to buy a sauna that's a three to five person or a big sauna, it's just really hard to have enough heaters in that sauna to cover the square footage. So that's the pros and the cons to ceramic. Let's talk about the pros and cons to carbon. So carbon heaters were developed uh, about six to eight years ago and brought to the American market as the next best thing. It, it, you know, it does this and it's, it's going to, you know, detox you t better and blah, blah, you know, all these different claims that came out. Okay, whatever. What, it is what it is. But the, the carbon heaters, the main reason why they came out is because the disadvantage of the ceramic, you could not have enough ceramics in the larger saunas uh, to make it work properly. So the carbons came out. Now the carbon, it's a bigger heater as you can see. It covers more surface area in the sauna, but it doesn't penetrate near as deep as a ceramic heater would. So the advantages of, of carbon is, yes, you can have those bigger saunas, those three to five people saunas, and you can cover pretty much the entire wall space with a carbon heater and you'll just, and, and it'll be perfect for you. But the disadvantage is, is it's not going to penetrate as deep in, in, into the human body. Now, fixmysauna.com actually sells all of its saunas com with combination heaters. So you have both a ceramic and a carbon heater working simultaneously in the same sauna. Now we both we, we also sell just carbon heat carbon setups, but uh, our favorite is the dual force or the, the dual kind of system and that sells uh, and we have both carbon and ceramic. So you get the both best of both worlds. And in this particular sauna as you can see, you have the two ceramic on the back wall and then the, the carbon on the left side and the 
uh, carbon on the right side. So you get that deep penetration for your back. Most people have back problems, so you get that nice penetration for your back, and then you get the uh, fuller surround on the left and right side for your, for your carbon. So again, this is an older sauna. Uh, it's, it's our diagnostic sauna. It, uh, the new ones that we have are way more advanced, better material, so on and so forth, but this kind of gives you an idea. Anyways, I hope this helps you guys out. I hope it kind of uh, uh, helps you guys understand the difference in quality of parts that are out there on the market today. And I hope it kind of answers that question of what's the difference between ceramic and carbon. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to always give us a call uh, or email us or visit our website at fixmysauna.com. Have a great day and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.